38mm Electric Green, 38mm Future Orange, 36mm Deep Pink, 36mm Cream Coral. Spoiler, I really like Nomos Club Campus watches. That's all. End of video. Sometimes I think that maybe I should make videos about watches that I don't like. Maybe watches that everyone else is interested in but I just don't care about, but then no, I'm not, I'm not a journalist and I'm not trying to make money. This is my channel and I want to have fun with these videos. And the Club Campus watches, these is fun, especially these colors. The Club Campuses are the simplest and also the most affordable members of the Club Collection. There's also the Club Campus Date, the Club Campus Automatic Date, and the top of the line, the Club Neomatic Sports Watch, which I've made videos about. These are serious dive watches with the club aesthetic and fancy oyster-style bracelets. But the simple, manually wound campus watches, these are my favorite clubs, not that I would belong to any club that would have me as a member. And now there are a rainbow of dial options in regular production, so between the colors and the sizes and the technical specs, I don't know, like, how could you not like these watches? But these ain't perfect, and I have some complaints, so don't worry. I'm aware that being mad at trivial things is one of the three pillars of watch collecting, the other two being flexing to no one and the phrase plays with the light. I have two of each of the two sizes here. The Club Campus comes in 36mm and 38mm. The 36mm watch is 8.2mm thick and 47.5mm long. The 38mm watch is actually 38.5mm in diameter. It's 8.5 millimeters thick and 49 millimeters long. Both watches have 100 meters of water resistance and both sizes can be bought on a leather strap or two different bracelet options. One is called just bracelet and the other is called bracelet sport. And I don't have much experience with either of these bracelets. But the simplest and cheapest configuration is the leather. The 36 millimeter on leather costs $1,500 and the 38 millimeter costs 1650. 36 versus 38 millimeters on my seven inch wrist. People have asked me to better describe my wrist shape. Like, is it flat or round or I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. Maybe it matters, but I have to draw the line somewhere. It's never enough for you people. I really think that either size works on my wrist. I have a pretty broad stylistic taste. I like them thick and I like them lean. I have an equal opportunity wrist. If I were forced to choose one size for me, I'd probably go with a 38. But I do think the 36 on a 7 inch wrist looks really tasteful and refined. Especially on a watch like this with so much dial, there's a lot of substance here. The 38mm wears closer to 40mm watches for three reasons I think. First, like I said, it's actually 38.5mm. You see, that's how they get you. And second, again, it's a lot of dial. And third, here we go, it's long. 49 millimeters long on a 38.5 millimeter watch. That's an unusual proportion. There are others like this. I think the Longines Heritage Marine Nationale is similar. I know that Nomos lengths are a complaint for many collectors. Sometimes I wonder if people complain because it's a sincere issue for them or they think it makes them sound informed. Or both, maybe. On the Nomos Tangente watches, yeah, I think the long lugs can make those watches just too large. On these club watches though, I just I don't see it. I really like the proportions of these cases. The lugs could be shorter, but I think it might make the watches look less elegant. Plus, look at how those long lugs play with the light. The cases are fully polished, even the case back. That's something I do have an issue with. I find that polished surfaces scratch really easily and my heart also scratches really easily. But polished finishes are usually easier to refinish. I know Nomos did a limited edition matte galvanized club watch for a jewelry store, and I'd like to see more of this. It totally changes the look of the watch, and I think it'd be great to have this option alongside the polished option. Inside all of these watches is the same movement. It's the in-house manually wound caliber alpha. It's super thin, it has 17 joules and 43 hours of power reserve. Nomos adjusts all its watches to better than 10 seconds of variation per day, in 6 positions over a period of 7 days. On its website, Nomos says the watches are adjusted, not the movements. 
So I interpret this as testing once the movements are in the cases, but I've been known to misinterpret things before. Inflammable means flammable? What a country! All the club campus dials are similar in design. They use what's called a California dial. That's when one half of the dial uses Arabic numerals and the other half uses Roman numerals. There are many theories and claims about the history of the California dial. The most prevalent is that it was an easy way to tell if the watch was upside down, but I ain't buying that theory. You could just as easily tell that with only Arabic numerals. And why is it called California? Apparently in the 1980s, vintage watches with these dials became very popular in Japan. And the closest place that could refinish these dials was a shop in Los Angeles, California. Again, I'm not convinced. But I do really like Cali dials. They're strange without being very obvious. They add just a touch of the unusual, which is the name of my second self-published autobiography. A touch of the unusual, colon, driven to madness by YouTube comments, comma, the your terrific story. The numerals and markers and hands are filled with an obligatory amount of loom. It's nothing special, but it's more special than nothing. They all share a neon orange small seconds hand at 6 o'clock that's in a debossed register, which really gives the dial some needed depth. And of course, there are no dates on these manual campus watches. And then there are the dial colors. Electric green, future orange, deep pink, cream coral. I remember when the orange came out a couple years ago. That had been my favorite for a while, but now having all these up close, I'm not sure anymore. The orange is good, but I really like how the green dial looks with that bold seconds hand. Then again, the coral, it's so rich, it looks like a pastry on the wrist. And the deep pink, that's probably the one with the highest contrast. I just really like all of these. And I appreciate that these are thoughtful colors. They're not primary colors, that's too easy, and they're not desaturated. These are strong and uncommon hues. I wonder if Nomos would notice if these just never made it back to them. I wonder if I should stop saying my premeditated crimes out loud and putting them in videos. A lot of people like to talk about go anywhere, do anything watches. Watches that could be sporty enough to wear swimming or hiking and still dressy enough to wear to a business meeting that's not over video conference. Do meetings like that still exist? I think these watches maybe have been overlooked as potential go anywhere, do anything watches. They have water resistance, they have a tasteful mid-century design, and well, maybe these colors are a bit too much for anything, but you know what? And there's a place where it'd be inappropriate to wear a colorful watch, I don't want to go there anyway.